Okay, hi guys. Um, this is just another quick tutorial um, on how to draw your own objects. Um, the next one I wanted to go over is how to draw a simple tree symbol. What you're looking at right now, I've just searched for, I'll just search Google Images on Architectural Tree Element, and this is what came up. Uh, if you look up landscaping elements and whatnot, that you'll you'll find plenty, and a lot of them. This this I'm sure there's there's plenty free, but you need to import them yourself, which we can go over later. And there are also libraries which are paid for, but it's useful to have your own. And there is a simple way to start, and I'll go over that right now. This is something that w is is actually in the tutorial uh, by Eric Lee. Um, I've used that, and I've I've not really been using anything else since. Uh, but um, but this might change. So if I go to Inkscape, I've already started playing, but I'll just make a new new page as usual. I'm not interested in the page right now. I'm interested in a circle and I'm going to press control whilst um, dragging the element out uh, if I don't then I get an uh, elliptical shape which I don't need so I'll press control and this way I have a circle and now I need to modify it a little bit so first thing I want to do is this this um, this thing is an object and without too much deliberation I'm going to change the object to path um, this might get confusing with these terminology but there's these two two words object and path will actually um, uh, will actually come quite often in these tutorials uh, so let's just go to the path menu and change object to path um, and again I won't go over too much right now just do it and what I want to do is I want to highlight it but I want to highlight it with this with this special path tool so the first one that we used before is select and transform just like like a normal cursor second one is edit paths by nodes and so what this allows me to do is I can look at any line in this case this is a circle and it's got um, well it is a circle duh but I can take any line I can take uh, a line created previously in a shape like that for instance and I can take that line and I can grab these nodes. So these are called nodes. And I can modify them. So this is this is what uh, what this tool does. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of that because I don't need it. And I'll take my tool and I'll highlight my entire circle. And the reason I'm highlighting the entire circle is because I want to highlight all of the nodes at the same time. And then in the top right corner here you'll see the little plus symbol. If I click it once, nothing happens. Let me try again. Uh, there we go, that's highlighted. So if I click once, look what happened. You've got you've got double the amount of nodes because now new nodes appeared in between the old ones. So I'm gonna try again and I've got even more. And try again and one last time and I've got plenty to play with. So now I've got so many nodes, I'm just going to fill the screen with this. I think by pressing 3. Yeah, pressing 3 does it. So now um, I can clearly see these nodes and I can start playing with them. Um, the majority of trees, as you know, never re resemble a perfect circle, um, but they're a little bit irregular. So what I can do is here and there I can create these little irregularities by pulling on nodes. Yeah, that, that's fine. I just pulled in between the node. Um, that just 
doesn't help me very much, but I'm just going to go with it. And there we go. Another one like that, and like that, and like that. See what what happens here is that um, I'm pulling in between the notes, and that moves that as well. Change change it a little bit, but um, it works. So I can I can do this until my shape is fairly irregular. Now if I click here and zoom out a little, you simply see a an irregular sh shape. So if I go to my fill and stroke uh, box and click on the fill, the fill is currently set to black, but let's say I want to make it a little bit more green. By pulling the green slider, I've got a green fill now. And if I go to stroke paint, I could do the same thing here. So I'm just going to go back to black and I'm going to make it more green, but not as light as, as the as the inside. So now now we've got an element which resembles a tree when you look from the top. You don't really need a, need anything else apart from that um, unless you want something more fancy like um, I don't know adding some branches perhaps I'm not really interested right now in doing that so this is this is how I've created my elements and a co really cool thing about this is that um, once we create a few of these elements uh, we'll have a library on the side um, that we can scale up using the scale that we did previously and so for instance if I measure this up to my scale I could for instance say that this tree is 5 meters uh, five meters in diameter and this doesn't have to show on my drawing this could be actually in another layer which we can go over later which we will go over later but um, but this element in particular if I'm thinking of, of a mature tree I can scale up to 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 resemble uh, a tree which will have a, a five meter diameter on on my design. So that's it. Uh, if you have questions about that, let me know. If uh, if you want to try that out, see if that works for you. Um, let me know as well in the comments. And, and yeah, cool. Till next time.